In this video, we look at the top five American tanks for rank three. So you've just reached rank three and you want to know exactly how you want to go about grinding it. America always fun. And I must admit, this is probably one of the most fun rank three grinds I have done in quite some time. So let's start with number five. Ah yes, the M4A1 76W, an absolute favorite of mine. Why? It's simple. It is the first really good medium tank that you actually start with in the rank, and it is super effective. It comes in at about a rating of 5.0, it's got a research cost of 18,000, and its purchasing cost is 47,000 silver lions. It's got a nice 76mm cannon, and it does the job pretty well. At the end of the day the m4a1 is a very very good tank to start with it'll be your first medium tank to roll out and for sure a good one i wasn't quite sure on where i wanted to add this tank destroyer but i had to add it into the top five it introduces heat fs for the first time it has got a monumental cannon that is absolutely amazing and this tank destroyer is so good that i use it in the ranks above it's none other than the m36 b2 The M36B2 is one of the most remarkable tank destroyers I've ever played. Coming in at a cost of 20,000 research points, and of course, a hefty 135,000 silver lions, this tank destroyer definitely is right up there on one of the best in terms of rank 3 overall. Though it doesn't have much armor to play with, one thing that is quite surprising it's got a little protection against cast from above and it houses an impressive 90 millimeters m3 cannon Its armor against tanks is not much to go by, so you have to snipe with this sort of tank destroyer, and it's perfect for that position. But overall, 
The best way to play this tank destroyer is to sit back and snipe them from range. Many of you might not add this into your top 5 and I completely understand. But I needed to add a heavy tank. And such an icon you cannot ignore. Yes, it's tough to grind and it's tough to play with. But boy oh boy, this tank is just pure toughness overall. It's the M4A3 E2 Jumbo. It comes in at a research cost of 40,000 research points. Its purchasing cost is 135,000 silver lions. It houses a little bit of a small cannon, but it packs a punch. And boy oh boy, when it comes to the armor itself, the armor is absolutely amazing. Almost 100 millimeters, in fact, over 100 millimeters of front glacius armor. This is an absolute monster. There we go, finally. We covered its predecessor at number 5, but this one is the upgraded version. It's the M4A3 76W. So where do we start? Well, this is by far the best medium tank in this rank, the M4A3 76W. Funny enough, it's actually the Fury tank, the one I did a video on not so long ago. But let's quickly just discuss a few elements of it. Let's start with the hull. It's got a 63mm front glacius at 47 degrees, which is superb to deflect oncoming shells. Its turret also, specifically the mantlet, has an 88.9mm thickness, which is fantastic against most shells. Although when you're going up against a tiger, you're going to have some problems. The cost comes in at 20,000 research points and of course 135,000 silver lions. But the thing that tops it off the most for me is its 76mm M1 cannon. It's got a vertical stabilizer and it's got explosive filled ammunition which you can unlock on rank 2 upgrades. And that is what makes this tank so so powerful. Oh, there's something over there. 
something in front of me right there. So we have finally come to the last tank, and the most favorite one for me. Yes, it doesn't have the biggest armor, nor does it have the biggest cannon. But there's something about this tank that just really resonates with so many players out there in War Thunder. It's really one that separates the rest from the pack. Of course, I'm talking about the M18 GMC. Coming in at 40,000 research points and 135,000 silver lions, this battle rated 6.0 light tank is the pinnacle of rank 3 America. And it runs like a dream. And there we have it folks, the top 5 American tanks, starting with the M4A1 Sherman, all the way through to the M18 GMC. Well, please catch me in the next episode, and if you do enjoy the content, please consider subscribing to my channel, I really do appreciate all the support. And now, talking about top 5s, here's another one of my great top 5 videos that you might enjoy. Check it out. And I'll see you guys next time.